this video, I'll break down how to add these really cool liquid spiral overlays to your videos in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, this is a pack which is from Cinepax. They have a whole bunch of really cool, like, you know, video editing packs, whether it be like presets or just simple drag and drop overlays. It's a really cool place to find digital assets if you're a video editor. The link is gonna be down in the description below. Now, I am using the liquid spiral effect, and again, that also will be down in the description below. It's a really cool pack, and again, Cinepax is a whole bunch of really cool digital assets. I definitely encourage you to go ahead and check out their website. However, in this video, I will show you how to use the really cool liquid spiral um, pack. So these are the two effects I'll be going over in this tutorial. The first one is this really cool like liquid wrap effect with these really cool liquid wrap overlays where you add a little bit of blur to it and it kind of creates a little bit of depth and almost looks like it's kind of this really cool like 3D effect. And then also I'll go over this really cool like liquid wrap effect which just kind of wraps around the subject. Now in order to create this effect, you're gonna have to actually like kind of like track a mask and I will show you how to do that. Of course, if you're using, using like, you know, a different program, you could rotoscope it, but I will show you basically how to rotoscope in Final Cut. It's a little more advanced, but I will show you how to do it. So these are the, these are the two effects I'll be going over in this video. The first effect I wanna go over is this really cool like liquid wrap overlay effect. So what you're gonna do is simply place them on top of your clip and then add a little bit of Gaussian blur just to create a little bit of depth to kind of make it almost look like it's 3D. Now in order to import any of these overlays, you don't have to put that in your plugins folder or your preset folder. All you're gonna do is click on Command and I to import them and then just locate where you have it saved. So for example, I have it saved in my Samsung T7. So you can see liquid spiral effects, here they all are. Just simply select on one of these and then just click on import selected. You can just select one, hold down shift to select multiple of them or you can hold down the command key to select as many as you want, but just simply click on them, click on the overlay you want, and then just click on import selected. And then as you can see, if I scroll down, here are the overlays I'll be using in this video. So you're just simply importing like you would any normal photo or you know video clip. So what we're gonna do is we'll take liquid wrap 04, we're just simply gonna place it on top of your clip. Now what you wanna do is just zoom out, and you can click on the clip, and then click on command R to bring up the retiming tool, and then just simply drag it. So basically all you're just doing right here is you're speeding up the overlay so it basically you know fits the timing of the clip itself now if we play the video as you can see now it's sped up but it also fits the timing of the clip let's go over here to liquid wrap 03 place it on top of the clip minus out and then just simply click on the actual clip itself click on command r to bring up the retiming tool and then just simply like increase the speed so we're just going to drag it just to kind of speed up the actual overlay so again it fits the timing of the actual clip so if we go ahead and as you see here we go we have the two overlays playing on top of the clips as you can see already that looks a lot better so let's go ahead and just disable the top one and then just select on this one and kind of figure out you know this is just all up to your creativity what i'm going to do is i'm going to select on the overlay itself i'm going to go to the speed options and basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to reverse the clip so that's just obviously going to reverse the speed of the clip so it's going to come in the opposite direction so if we play the video as you can see it just comes in the opposite direction so let's go ahead and select on the overlay itself let's decrease out to 50 percent enable the transform tool and then basically this, this, way, this is where you kind of mess with it so let's increase let's uh, adjust the rotation increase the scale and let's move the position over something like this maybe we want to move it up just and of course this is completely all your personal preference so let's go ahead and just play the clip and see what it looks like so you can see it's just coming on screen and i think that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and just go back to fit and just zoom in the screen so you can see you just have this really cool liquid overlay flying on the screen now we can go back and let's zoom out to let's say like 50 percent and then enable the next one and then of course let's go to the beginning and just kind of figure out where you want this so let's decrease the rotation actually no we'll go over rotation let's decrease the rotation we can enable the transform grid just so we can kind of see what the overlay looks like let's uh, increase the scale really high to something like 200 um, percent if you want to move it over and now you can go ahead and just take the playhead and just kind of play it just to kind of see what it's going to look like so that's what is um that's what it's going to look like so go ahead and click on done let's just zoom back just this is just you know personal preference you can go through and basically adjust the overlays again you don't do exactly what i'm doing i'm just giving you a basic idea just going to show you the basic idea of how to use these overlays i'll just It'll give you some cool ideas so let's go ahead and play and then as you can see i think that looks pretty cool it's a really cool where they're just kind of flying on the screen but as you can see that looks really kind of like cheesy and generic just that, that doesn't look very advanced it just looks like you slapped overlays on top of the clip and then just you know went into the next clip it looks okay but it just looks you know it looks very generic and just it doesn't look really advanced so let me show you a couple things you can do to make it look even cooler so we're going to select on the overlay itself let's go over here to the color and we're going to click on match color and we're going to select on the actual clip itself 
So selecting the clip, as you can see, it's gonna do its best to kind of match the color. So already that looks a lot better. So we can also do select on this one, go over here and then click on match color and then select on the actual clip itself. And then as you can see, the colors already look a little more accurate. So as you can see, the colors already look a lot better. But let me show you another really cool tip you can do to make it look even cooler. So we're gonna head over here to the effects panel. We're gonna scroll down until we find blur. So just select on blur and you wanna take the Gaussian blur and place it on top of these different overlays. As you can see, it's just gonna add a little bit of blur to it and make it look even cooler. So we're gonna select on this one and let's figure out which one this one. So this is this one. So we're gonna probably have this one, it's gonna be a little bit closer to the screen. So therefore it'll be a little more blurry. So click on the amount and let's change the amount to like something like 22. And let's select on this one and we'll change the amount to something like 10. So as you can see, already that looks um, a lot better. So it looks like these are the really cool like 3D elements floating in, in front of the screen. And you add some really cool Gaussian blur just to add a little bit of depth. So we go ahead and play the video. As you can see, just added a little bit of depth and therefore that just looks a little cooler. So just those simple things matching the color, adding some Gaussian blur are just gonna help sell the effect. And again, it, these effects only, are only gonna work on certain clips. You wanna just slap them onto like, let's say a nature, like a, a, a video clip shot in the forest. It's gonna make no sense. So obviously, you know, think ahead when you're shooting the video, you know, certain overlays work with certain clips, but just these simple little things. And of course you can take these same steps to using different overlays, you know, matching the colors, adding some Gaussian blur, just these tiny small little things can really help sell the effect and make it look like you didn't just slap an overlay onto a clip and then moved on. Just we take your time and adding these little extra things can just help overall sell the effect and make it look a lot better. The next effect we're gonna go over is this really cool like liquid spiral effect. So we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the beginning of this clip right here, select the clip, and let's scroll down until we find a tracker. So click on the plus icon, and all we're gonna do is you're basically gonna track his nose. So it's gonna basically adjust the tracker. You probably wanna make sure you're at the beginning of the actual clip itself. Let's zoom into something, let's say like 400%. And we're simply gonna place the tip, the, the middle of the tracker onto the tip of his nose, and just decrease it a little bit or just kind of adjust the settings. You want to give Final Cut a little bit of leeway when you're tracking. So let's say the tip of his nose and let's click on analyze. You'll see a green circle to basically identify where it's tracking. As you can see, it's tracking onto his nose. So there we go. Now we can go ahead and head over here to the object track, double click it, and we'll just name it face. It's probably good to just name it just so you know if you have a lot of trackers, you don't you know lose track of the you know the, the ones the, the different trackers. It's just a nice way of keeping stuff organized. So let's head over here to liquid spiral. Um, gold um, A. So you want to make sure you're having the, they should have an A and a B. So that's for the front and back. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, minus out the screen. And then all we're going to do is let's go ahead and just kind of bring up Command R. We're just going to bring up the retiming tool. I think this is like 485%. So there we go. All we did was you just sped it up. Therefore, it's the duration of the actual clip. And then we'll go ahead and click on Command R and just decrease it. Now we're going to go to the beginning of the clip right here, head to the transform tool, go to this tracker icon, go to tracker, and then select on face. So there we go. Basically, now you just linked up the tracker. So now it's basically going to be tracked to the actual like person. So we go ahead and um, uh, disable the clip. Let's take on um, spiral B, place it on top of the clip let's minus that a little bit click on command r to bring up the retiming tools and we're just going to adjust the speed again to 485 percent just so it fits the duration of the actual clip itself let's go to the beginning of the um, overlay and then click on the transform tool go down go to tracker and then we're going to select on it face so there we go now it's tracked onto his face so now we have the b1 and the a tracked onto his face let's minus out a little bit and we're going to enable both of these a and b and now as you can see see this little icon means it's tracked and we select on this one this little icon also means it's tracked as you can see now you have it tracked to the actual like subject so we go ahead and play the video it is now tracked on the subject. Now we just want to adjust the different settings. So select on B and let's increase the scale to like um, a really high, maybe like 126, something like that. If we want to decrease it a little more or something like this, I'm just basically going to adjust the settings. So let's say like negative 80 and we'll do something like 120. Of course you can adjust the settings. I'm just messing with it. So let's go over here and the, well, you want to make sure the, the numbers match up negative 80 and then I think we had 121. As you can see, there we go. Now it's basically all like matched up. So we play the video. As you can see, now it's tracked to the subject and they're all perfectly lined up. So as you can see, there we go. 
and uh, as simple as that that looks a lot better now what we're gonna do is you're basically gonna add like um, a draw mask and track it therefore you know it actually wraps around the subject so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just move the playhead find where it starts going around the subject so click on the M key and then we'll go to the end until it fully goes away from the subject so as you can see there we go and that should look pretty good. So what you're going to do is you're going to select on this clip right here and you're just going to hold down the option key and you're just going to simply duplicate the clip. You're going to take this duplicated clip and you're going to place it in between A and B but you want to make sure it is above clip A. So you can see if we play the video as you can see it's missing the one where it goes behind. So simply take the the clip itself go over here go to all and we're just simply going to apply a draw mask so apply the draw mask onto the actual clip itself so simply you're just placing the draw mask onto the middle clip and now basically going to do is you're going to select the subject so right here we're going to cut out um, the subject so basically just going to kind of go like just basically take the mask and just go around the actual subject himself now if we go ahead and play the video as you can see now it's kind of going behind the subject you can see already that looks a lot better so i'm going to go very fast all you're basically going to do is you're going to select on the middle clip you're going to go to the transform tool keyframe position rotation scale and control points so you're keyframing the mask then what you're doing is you're going forward and you're just going to take the mask we can also zoom in a little bit too right here and you're basically just going to keyframe the mask so simple as that you're just simply going through and key from the mask we want to go forward a little bit more and let's go down and let's basically just you're just basically keyframing the mask therefore the spiral goes like behind the subject so let's go forward a little bit more something like this so we can just basically just you're simply just adjusting the mask and then as you can see see we watch the mask itself see the mask is see it's being like tracked so you're simply tracking the mask and then again you can go through go through each individual each individual frame again make sure the control points and everything is keyframed as you see there we go see now that looks a lot better so you can of course go to this part over here and also adjust you know the keyframe path and stuff like that you just basically just going through and you just simply unfortunately there's no way to automate this you're just kind of going frame by frame and tr making sure that the, the mask is like behind is just you know following the subject therefore the spiral will go behind the subject so if we zoom out to 50 percent or zoom back to full as we can see see look now the mask goes behind the subject so we go over here and we again disable the mask as you can see see obviously you're missing it so simple as that now the mask because we keyframed it now the liquid spiral effect and if we play the video now it's going behind the subject so there we go as simple as that that's how you make it go behind the subject you're basically just gonna have b on top the the clip right here in the middle a below it and then the other clip right here and then you're gonna apply the draw mask to the middle clip and then just track the mask you want to make sure you have a and b or else it's not going to fully wrap around and there we go and of course you can select on each one of these overlays and just go to here click on match color and then just click you know simply select on the actual clip itself and then as you can see the color is going to match a little bit so we go ahead and disable the match color as you can see just a simple little thing just matching the color will make it look a lot better and then as you can see there we go you have this really cool liquid spiral effect so if we go through and play the beginning these really cool overlays and then you have the, the liquid spiral going behind the subject and there you go that's how you use this really cool like liquid um, spiral effect from Cinepax. anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy these types of videos definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you're looking for some really cool final cut pro 10 plugins overlays and presets definitely go ahead and check out my digital store anyways i will see you in the next one peace